there is nothing called vegetable oil if you may make spinach ikakupea mafuta well and good but whatever you're consuming it is not good for you studies have shown that whatever they are calling vegetable oil is not good for you ghee is good for you coconut oil is good for you olive oil is good for you tallow fat is good for you lard is good for you uh, nuts uh, oils and all that are good for you problem is they are a bit expensive and we also don't want to spend that amount of money you are going to choose uh, consuming the so-called vegetable oils and messing up your health or spending just a little bit more and getting something that will support your health <music> My channel my name is rachel if it is your first time here i do reviews very honest ones i cook i do time and money saving videos i also motivate you to stay healthy and active because it is not always about the body thank you so much to the new crew i can never thank you enough if you're not a subscriber so far please subscribe i am holding my last amount of tallow fat remaining one of you had asked how i make it and today i want to show you two ways of rendering the Fat. ignore the you fresh i don't care what that is so this is tallow fat you are chunked up so we are going to be making this like the intro said um my board is ready so i'll transfer this i am out doing myself this time round I have made talo loki when I'm making beef uh, broth, but this will just be a lot, which is the plan. So this is my slow cooker. I am using my NutriCook uh, cooker, not really like a slow cooker, but for today I'll be using the function as slow cooker. I don't want to jazz at the talo meat cam kabisa also like i told you in the intro i want to give you the two versions of a sufuria and a slow cooker so that if you don't have a slow cooker you won't be like but i don't have the slow cooker how do i make that you know you are saying a slow cook i know you don't talk like that but <laughs> you get the point i want you to have no excuse you have to make your tallow beef um tallow mafuta so these are size I want to get a pot that will sort out this situation. For reference, okay, you're seeing my invoices there. Mm -mm, I'm not doing that. For reference, this is a 2 kg tallow meat. Or, yes, let's call it that. So let me get my pot. Friends, there are two ways you can render your tallow fat. One is dry and the other one is wet. One has water, one doesn't have water. The problem with the dry one is the likelihood of you burning the oil, which is something that you don't want. Again, maintaining the temperatures when you're doing dry um, tallow rendering is crazy because you have to babysit the crazy thing, turn it all that time. Do we have time? Personally, I don't. So the method I am using here is wet tallow rendering. And I want to tell you something. Uh, this is the process simple okay one thing you need to do is chop your tallow meat and this is salt the last time i was doing this when i was doing my broth was someone was like and if i don't take salt what will happen by the way it's not a must you do sea salt but if you use it if this is what you use then there is no problem just use it so the work of the salt is to extract any um, harmful stuff from the tallow. And you know the amazing part is the tallow fat definitely will not taste any salt. Like every salt, whatever will be left in the water that you're going to dump because you're going, we are not going to use the water. So you are supposed to put water and cover everything. So that's that's in my slow cooker bowl and this is in the sufuria 
Okay, another thing I forgot to tell you is that when you get it, make sure that utaiweka kwa sink and pitisha tu ju maji, clean it a bit. Well, that won't be a problem. If you don't want to to clean it, it's okay. That's none of my business today. So this is done and this is done. So these are ready to be cooked. I'll put a lid on it on top of this and I will put my inner pot in the slow cooker for that process to happen. Now, we need to talk about, especially those guys that are going to be using the sufuria to render your tallow fat. If you're going to be using the nutri cook or your crock pot, then you're safe because it's simple. All you need to do, well, this is not what I'll be using, but just for demonstration, you only need to put it on low or slow cook and then uh, it will do its thing. But if you are doing this, you need to keep the temperatures at 130, 140 because otherwise you're going to just dismantle. No, dismantling is not a word for this. You're going to mess up with whatever that is good for this. The smallest burner, if you're using like jikozetu za kawaida or if you cook with jikoyamaka, you know the motor that remains after you cook your chapos and your dengus za kuweka kwa fridge for one year kwa freezer ah uh, na waingililia it's not good by the way you're saving time and everything but why would you do that anyway irrelevant so that jiko that you cooked the dengu for the day okay prioritize your meals i'm getting to the irrelevant part that jiko you know like um, when the motor is kidogo and then the ceramic part is warm giving that is what you should be aiming for sufuria is being sorted i know you are like how am i going to maintain the 130 140 uh, fahrenheit what you need to do is put it on low don't worry about all those other things or you know how you're going to measure that because i don't this is going there for six eight hours but from the sufuria you can do for six hours depending on how it is after everything is done don't even open the pot put the power off or the flame or whatever that you're using or the steamer off and then let it simmer <laughs> This is done. The advantage of the pot is you can stir and then press the the matunya every now and then. So we let it simmer. So you have a muiko that you can press the fat. I've been doing that. So now put the motor off and then we let this simmer. Put it there. Your yeah, slow cooker is ready. Slow cooker has done the job, so we take the thingies there. I also show you what we do with these. Set this aside, put a lid on or something, cover it with, you can also cover it with a kitchen towel, safi, and let it sit on paka equal kabisa kabisa. This is the part from the slow cooker. Let's remove it from the fluid. Get it into our container. I just keep it. And this is the one from the sufuria.
Next, we are going to rinse this. Uh, this is what you get. So the next thing is to break the fat uh, slices and then we reheat this. I take a sufuria. I put the kabol in there. You you can for sure heat it directly, but the problem is you can burn it and then nikai kalengine and then I I don't like the burn smell and taste for imafuta, so that is why I choose to do the boiler method. This is what you get, and the color of whatever that you get will depend on so many things, uh, but. You will see what happens when all this cools down. I have my jar here cleaned nicely and you then put some put it in some boiling water or you boil it. So the next and the final step is to sieve this because it has two particles the the tallow meat. Sieve it into our jar. So this is what you get need to let it cool and then put the lid on and then keep your fat tallow fat is very shelf stable so you don't need to refrigerate it we are talking about six months plus you can also refrigerate it for a longer storage like a year plus that is what they say and this my friend is how you make your tallow fat quite a process i agree but you are not going to just grab something so cheap or make something so fast if it is going to be healthy you are going to pay the price either pay it with your pocket or your time and stuff like that this is the way i choose to go i insist there is nothing like vegetable oil you're using palm oil and another shenanigan out there buy coconut oil buy olive oil if you will macadamia or all nut oils if you can nut oils though you use with a lot of caution coconut and olive oil are a bit safe cook with ghee and you can also make this for your own good you know you're going to be taking a lot of money when you're buying olive it's not cheap coconut oil sells for 1300 right now a kg i buy can test it uh, olive oil is even more expensive in this country ghee and any milk product is quite expensive in this place so you are going to pay for good health at the end of the day but it's worth the sacrifice this is the meat part of the meat that was from the wet venting because it still has a lot of fat so if you are saving like i saved some for making the milk it, you need kudogo you don't need a lot all right so lock it and let all settle and do the magic one thing you would realize is that the dry rendering gives you more fat and like the wet so let this uh do its thing again lock low heat remember By the way while that cooks a little bit this mafuta is very good because instead of you buying those uh tablets the vitamin a k e and all that for that good skin that you want you can try stuff like this don't overdo it though 911 should they come and rescue because <laughs> let me deal with the smoke because mm -mm, that is not a good sign i was on the phone with mama for like a minute and it is bad let me sort myself because 911 yes i know i said 911 won't help this is what happened this is all the tallow meat left after taking off the meat but i got into a call and before i know it i decided it was time to see it but that was already late so ikachomeka and that is the risk for the dry tallow rendering which is okay because mafutenya it a test to be buyer maybe kind of a way that's the situation it is not all bad it is going to be used 
maybe it will give my food that nyam chom kind of vibe you know you never know anyway uh, at that point you just deal with it like the first one whatever that we did uh sieve it then you wake up a container and you take a uh warm it you can also do the microwave i see people using microwaves i don't use microwaves because i used to overdo using microwaves and eating foods that two months ago i had to get rid of that habit by getting rid of the microwave i don't have it i don't miss it i don't think i need it anyway that's irrelevant i know i'm sorry so you see it and then the same process you can clearly see the difference this is the one that i made in hot water i simmered in hot water and then this is the one that burned a little when i was talking to mama see the difference but it is all fine what are some of the things that you think we should do when making this kind of a thing my name is Rachel in case you forgot thank you so much for being here i'll see you in my next one remember mondays Wednesdays, and saturdays 1 p.m local time go ahead